Yo, what's up guys? Chair here with Rise Magic, and today I am going to bring you one of the most requested videos of the year, and that is my deck collection 2020 version. Now, the cool thing about collecting playing cards, as many of you guys will know, is that there's a little story behind every deck of cards that you own. In fact, a vast majority of these cards have been sent to me. So there's cool stories that go with each one. This is gonna be probably a longer video. Some stories for the decks are cooler than others, and I'm gonna try and move quickly on the ones that have lame stories. But I'm gonna go through every single deck on the deck display, and uh, I got some, got some decks sitting on the seat over here that uh, they, they didn't make the cut. But I haven't rehearsed this at all. It's uh, pretty random. The decks are just kind of tossed them all in there. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Five times, there's a hundred decks in here. Five times 20, right? Five times 20, yep, yeah. it's a hundred. So without further ado, let's get it popping. Starting at the top left, we have the Cherry Casino playing cards. I will say, this whole display is not put in any particular order, except for this one. I put this one first, because this deck of cards is possibly one of the most important cards to me in terms of memory, nostalgia. This is the first deck of cards that Rise Magic got sponsored to make a post about. We didn't even get paid. Uh, we didn't really deserve to get paid at that point in time. I think we had like 4,000 followers on Instagram. There was no YouTube channel. I wanna say it was probably 2015. And they sent us two of these decks and we're like, hey, make an Instagram post about it. Grant and I went out to the woods. We made a video with our cell phones and the rest is history. So there you go, Cherry Casino deck. I have one more sealed deck of this right here. So this is all I got left when it comes to Cherry Casinos. I don't think I'm ever gonna open this deck or sell it because we got sent these two decks for our first sponsor video ever. Can't part with either of them. Super nostalgic memories, obviously, that goes with your first deck that you ever got sponsored for. So shout out to Pure Imagination Projects. By the way, you might wonder why I am doing a deck collection video now when I just released the Rise playing cards, the first playing cards designed by Grant and myself, our first signature deck. And the real answer is, once those cards are shipped to us and become fully available for everybody, you're probably not gonna see me ever using another deck of cards. So I may as well show you what I got now because that's it. It's all done. Trust me, if you, if you ever make your own deck, I'm sure there's some of you out there who have, why would you use anything else than your own deck? So anyway, moving on. This is the Art of Karshi Blue deck. I really gotta speed up these stories. What's, uh, what's fascinating about this deck, it was sent to us by Bacopo and my friend Kevin Yu. And I used this deck on my first time ever going on an airplane. So that was about two years ago, I think. First time ever flying on a plane, I was so nervous. I felt like I was gonna throw up because all my stomach issues and stuff, I was scared to go on a plane. Turns out, a year after that, flying on a plane turned out to be my full-time job pretty much. I was like a traveling sports documentary filmmaker. And uh, one of you guys left a comment on one of the podcast videos and it said, wow, Chandra went from never flying on a plane before his whole life to stepping off of private jets in two years. And I was like, dang, dude, that's, thanks for noticing that. That's true, I didn't think about that. But yeah, near and dear place in my heart, play with these on an airplane. Up next, Black Makos by Gemini Dex. This deck, this actually does have a really funny story behind it. If you check it out, you'll see that there's water damage all across the deck. And that's because when I did this deck review, went out to the beach, made a cool trailer on the beach, and there was a point where I did an anaconda by the waves and then did a backflip and I knew that the wind would catch the cars and fly everywhere. So for the sake of the cool factor in the trailer, I sacrificed some cards just to make a cool shot. And uh, I, think it, I think it worked out. Unfortunately, that was the same day I uh, pretty much dislocated, broke my shoulder, popped it back in doing a backflip for this video. So uh, if you wanna watch that throwback deck review, I'll link it below. It's kind of funny because I was like, yeah, broke my thumb, dislocated my shoulder, making a, uh, a playing cards trailer. I guess I'm a try hard. Theory 11 Rebels. I want to say eight years old. This is Grant's deck of cards. Grant's obviously given me a lot of decks of cards. He gave me my start in Cardistry and Magic, obviously. This deck is awesome. I always say it reminds me of National Treasure uh, because of its design and everything. I don't think this has been shown in any videos but definitely one of my favorite decks to play with. This deck, the United deck, I got it in February when I was at the Cardamundi United States Playing Card Merger event in New York City. Awesome event, got to hang out with some cool people there. And they gave us this deck and we'll get it over with. And this deck right here, 
made a video unboxing them, some of the rarest decks of the year because they were only given to people at that event. Uh, the red ones, not much too special about those. And the United ones are printed on the super cool finish by Cardamundi. Uh, check out the whole video on it if you want to learn more. B Win Casinos. They look like that, and they are some of the best packet cutting cards of all time. I used them in the video where I tried to learn zip tie in one sitting. It was learning an impossible card flourish, and I accidentally rolled over some of them in my office chair. But since that was a couple years ago, they have now flattened out. Okay, this deck, the green and black verts by Virtuoso. <laughs> And fun fact about these, they were given to me by my friend Mike Skiba, AKA Joma Bob, and what's cool about how me and Joma Bob met is that he lives in Arizona, and he was just a Rise Magic follower for a long time. We end up playing Fortnite together when Fortnite came out, become really good friends, but we've never met in person. So we were just like online Instagram buddies for a long time. And then for work, just recently this past fall, I had to fly to Arizona for a baseball event, and I was like, yo, Skiba, let's meet up for the first time. We did, we had a great time. We rode some electric scooters and uh, he gifted me some of these verts. So shout out to Skiba, you're the man. So these are the exact same cards that these ones are up here, which obviously I did Car Street ASMR super slow-mo with. These cards are awesome. If you wanna see them in action, go check out Car Street ASMR super slow motion. I think it's got like 4.5 million views. Shout out to uh, Kevin Yu for making that deck. Awesome stuff. <sighs> Don't really have any story behind these. I think we made an Instagram post about them. They're by Got Magic Shop. Uh, look like that. So yeah, made an Instagram post about these. Pretty cool deck. And uh, Got Magic Shop. Masterpiece deck. This was a Bacopo deck. And what's really cool about this deck, they had a different artist design each card. So when you go through the deck, that's your back design. And every single card has its own artwork. Like I said, didn't plan this out. So it looks like this is just a standard red rider back deck. Oh, oh, oh this is from uh, the video I did a few weeks back, which was comparing brand new black seal playing cards to blue seal playing cards. So it's just a normal rider back deck of cards. Up next with the Blue Knox, they have this cool box that opens like this. As you can see, it's falling apart. This is a very old deck. I wanna say about six years old. Really awesome deck. We've used it in a lot of tutorials, I believe. We definitely use it in the Pac-Man tutorial that Grant did probably three years ago now. So nothing but positive things about this deck and uh, fond memories because that was when we really first started doing tutorials on YouTube. Okay, up next, Malibu by Gemini Dex. Now, shout out to Gemini Dex because when we were first, you know, growing on YouTube, I wanna say we had under 10,000 subscribers. They were the first company to kind of send us decks in bulk. What is this? Flap cards. Oh, see, so I know I said I don't really know what I have up here, but <laughs> sometimes I hide all my gimmicks. In, uh, in decks like this, and these are flap cards, which are a pretty cool gimmick for Magic. I don't know if any of these work anymore because it's been a while since I used them. I'll show you some clips of what they look like when they're working really well right now, but I'll try and see if I can get one working for you guys. Huh, that worked decent. All right, rapid fire in case there's a really cool story. Red reprinted Jerry's Nuggets, did a whole video on these about how they were a reprint by Expert Playing Card Company made a cool little montage with them and the blue Jerry's Nuggets right here, made a whole video on them, so I'm not gonna spend that much time on them now. Obviously, all these videos will be linked in the description. Up next, um, this is a fan back, and I can tell that it's an invisible deck because I put a little line on the seal, just like that. And uh, if you guys know invisible decks, there are some available on rise-magic.com forward slash store. But this one is out of commission because it has some water damage on it. The summer before we started our YouTube channel, I worked at a country club as a waiter and it was like an outdoor restaurant. And I had this apron and I would always have an invisible deck and a normal deck of cards on me. So I was ready to perform at any time in case someone had seen our Instagram account because I didn't have a YouTube back then. So I was always ready to perform magic that summer when I was out being a waiter. And I remember I was waiting tables outside and it started monsooning coming down cats and dogs 
you were soaking wet in under 30 seconds and we had to go bring in all the tables. I forgot that I had this invisible deck in my pocket and it got destroyed. So for some reason, I have it on the deck display. Uh, this is a deck by Murphy's Magic. I've never opened it. It's called a lies deck. Uh, maybe, maybe I should open it. Maybe I'll do a YouTube video that is like opening all the decks of cards that I've never opened before because uh, I open a lot of decks of cards. Up next, these are pretty much brand new. These are the uh, School of Karshi deck. I believe Jaspus makes these. And uh, my friend Andrew McGrath, who's a big fan of this channel, shout out Andrew. He sent me a couple decks recently and this is one of them. Uh, I love the deck, it's pretty awesome. Shout out Jaspus for the cool deck. Shout out Andrew for sending me it. All right, random deck of blue bicycles. Uh, nothing special about these, they're just sitting on there. This was the red Bicycle 2020 deck that I mentioned earlier. Okay, moving on, we have the Orbit 7th Editions. These were given to me by my friend Nick Stumphauser. He came to the New York City event with us that I was talking about where I got the United deck from the Bicycle 2020 deck. And he just did a tutorial on our page on a move he calls Clean Sweep. So go check that out if you haven't seen it already and you wanna learn a move. And Nick, when he came, he stayed at my house back home in Philadelphia and he gifted me a few of these Orbit decks. So shout out Nick, thanks for being an awesome friend. Next up, we have an At The Table deck. Um, this is by Murphy's Magic. Once again, never opened it. <laughs> never opened it. So I know I got to make up on a lot of giveaways for the channel because we've been growing so fast. I promised I would do giveaways. As you can see, I got a lot of sealed decks that I, I would love to just give away. So look forward to that. You know, as I'm making this video, I'm just spitballing talking about these decks. I realized why not, why not do a giveaway on this video? It wasn't planned. Just thinking I got all these sealed decks. Uh, I don't know what cards yet, but as I go through this, I'll come up with some ones that I can give away. Let's do, let's do three decks for now and then we'll do some giveaways in future videos, but I'll, I'll figure out what three decks I wanna give away here by the end of the video. Skateboard playing cards, V2, made once again by my friend Kevin Yu. He sent me a lot of these to make a trailer for him. Uh, it was one of the first trailers I made when I moved to Dallas, Texas, and I had no friends there. I was new to the area, so I just went on Google Maps and was like, skate park. I found some random skate park in Dallas drove there all alone, took out the cards, took out my camera, and just wandered around there the whole afternoon, making friends with skaters, filming them skating, and then making the trailer for this. And there is a video all about these cards on the page, and I would love it if you go check out my trailer for skateboard playing cards. I think it's one of my best. Um, it's fun making skate videos. Sparkle Point playing cards by Bacopo. Not really too much interesting about these. Uh, I may as well tell a Bacopo story now, because I'm gonna probably have a lot of Bacopo decks on here. Bacopo was the first playing card company that legitimately sponsored us. As I talked about at the beginning, there were lots of companies that would sponsor us by sending us decks for free, but there was no actual like payment of currency. So Bacopo was the first time I ever signed a contract to make videos, which is a pretty cool memory looking back on it because now I'm a professional videographer, filmmaker, but that was the first time where I actually got money directly, not just for playing card stuff, but to make videos of their cards. So they sent me, I have a video about it. They sent me like, I think like 200 decks. And it was, uh, I think we had like 70,000 subscribers at the time. So shout out to Picopo for giving me my start. I really do appreciate that. Avengers Assemble cards. I got these a couple weeks ago when I was at a bookstore haven't opened them, but I'm a massive, massive Avengers fan. So uh, I figure I gotta have Avengers cards. I'll probably open them in a future video. They are printed by United States Playing Card Company, so the quality should be good. But once again, I don't even really know what the cards look like. We have the Art of Cardistry Red. These cards are like the, you know, other colorway of the blue ones. These are sealed. I, I sold all the other ones I got as part of the deal, but this is the only one I have left. The other open one, I actually gave it to my girlfriend because she thought these cards were so pretty. And she always has the cards in her purse at all times. So lots of your card aficionados, if you saw the condition of that deck, might, uh, might cringe a little bit, but that deck has gotten some use. In fact, I remember a time when we were waiting in line, me and my friends we were waiting in line for Avengers Infinity War, and we're just like, let's play some cards. So we took them out of our backpack, and my one friend went like over this, and we use his back as a table to play some card games while we waited for the movie. Of course, one of the best movies of all time. In fact, I'm pretty sure she still has that deck. Let me check real quick. 
Whitney, do you still have that deck I gave you in your purse? You have it? The sign deck from Ryan Magic? I forgot that I did that. Let me see that. Oh my gosh. Look at this, guys. Look at how worn this deck box is. She completely destroyed it. No, I'm kidding. But I said, to Whitney from Chandler Henry. At Rise Magic, of course, you got a plug. Now, we have played a lot of card games with these, and as you can see, they, uh, they definitely show some wear there. But they still have all 52 cards. Oh my gosh, Whitney, I did not know they were this bad. Oh boy. What did you do to my boy? But what is the point of playing cards if you don't actually use them to play games? In fact, I did make a video that was top five best card games of all time. If you guys wanna check that out, learn some fun card games to play with your friends. Cause you guys are that guy just like me who always has cards on you. So if you're just hanging out and you're tired of showing all your friends magic tricks all the time, bust out your cards and play a game with them, all right? These are, these are like $2.50. It's worth it for some entertainment for you and your friends, especially when you're waiting in line for five hours. It was worth it though. Thanks Whitney. Like I said, there's a, there's a story behind every single deck. I know I keep saying this, but I'm just gonna admit that this is gonna be a really long video because there's a story behind every deck. Here we go. Virtuoso, spring, summer, I believe 2015. Grant bought these decks before I even really started doing magic seriously. Um, great deck of cards, handles super, super well. Some of my favorite cards of all time, Split Splade, Gold Edition, I use these I made a trailer review on them for fun. It was back in a train track behind my old apartment when I was still in college. I was super, super sick that day, throwing up all day, but I knew I needed a video out for Thursday. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going outside and making a video anyway. So I went out there alone. And I think, I wanna say the best footage I ever shot, but for the time that was about a year and a half ago, it was some of the best footage I ever shot, especially some of the uh, really cinematic shots once again. You can go check out that video too. I gotta go quick. Okay, ultra playing cards. Another Gemini deck. I made a couple Instagram posts about these. Don't think I've ever used them in a YouTube video, but pretty cool deck. Love to see it. Shout out to Gemini. Uh, best Cards Alive deck. I haven't used this deck that much. I didn't purchase it new. My friend Kier Gomes, some of you may have heard of him. He has an awesome car stream magic channel on YouTube here. Go check him out. Um, he was selling a ton of his collection. He was like, here's, I think it was 30 used decks and he had them at a really discounted price. So I hit him up and was like, yeah, I'll, I'll cop them. I'll bite. I don't have enough playing cards, so I'll buy, I'll buy 30 from you. Seven Stones of Wisdom deck. Another deck sent to me by Murphy's Magic. Um, don't think I've ever posted anything about them. They sent me a lot of decks and the deal was to make a video or, or post about a couple of them. That was a few years back at this point, I think three years ago. Um, and now we're working with Murphy's Magic to distribute the rise playing cards. So. Shout out to them. Amazing how a relationship can develop. All right, so this is an old bicycle box, but I do know what's in here. These are the uh, master's edition of rider backs, but what's in here may surprise you. That's right, first edition verse playing cards. Grant bought these way, way back in the day when they first came out and he used them all the time. In fact, I think up in New York, he has a few of these in the box, but some way, somehow, he lost one of the boxes, so they stay in this special bicycle box so that we know where they are. That box, who knows where it is? I don't know what, I don't know what deck this is. I don't know what deck this is. Maybe I'll put this in the giveaway. Queen's deck by Murphy's Magic. It's got a chessboard on the back. Really cool looking deck, metallic red. Never opened it. Maybe it'll be one of the giveaway decks. Big boy playing cards. I made a full trailer on this. They're by Gemini Decks. Once again, lots of these decks, they just have stories, memories behind them. I'm not in love with the way this deck looks. I'm really, it's a little bit eh for me, but I remember making the trailer for it. I went outside to the cul-de-sac in front of the house where I grew up in, and my little sister, Bethany, she helped me film the whole video. So that's, one of, that's like a fun memory for this deck for me is that I was like directing my little sister who doesn't have that much experience with my camera. And I was like, stand here, stand there, do this, do that. And the end result footage, when I edited it, I was so amazed with how it looked. Bethany's helped me film a lot of videos in the past. And it's pretty funny because a lot of people credit me for some of the awesome footage, but really those are held by her hands. So shout out to you, Bethany. Star Wars playing cards, these were released around the release of The Rise of Skywalker. However, this specific deck was given to Grant and myself when we were up 
in New York City for that event that I've talked about a couple of times now by the CEO of Theory 11. So shout out to you, man. Appreciate the deck. Man, some of these decks, I don't know why I have them up here. Aristocrat Casino playing cards. They're from the Bellagio in Vegas. It's funny. I used to say I've never been to Vegas, but now I've been there a ridiculous amount of times for work. Uh, when you get casino cards, they cut the corners off, right? So they'll never be recirculated again. So if you don't want to mess up cards that are from your personal collection, maybe get some old youth casino cards, keep them on you for when your friends want to play some card games. And then the cards are already ruined, so you can just play with official casino cards. All right, black circleback tally hose. One of my favorite decks of all time. If you watch the ASMR Extended Edition, uh, if I were to perform any flourish and not want to mess it up at all, then this deck would be the deck of choice because I'm just so comfortable with it. It's super old, definitely over a decade old. It barely, barely has any spring. It barely has any spring left in it. The cards kind of just fall off of your hands, but I love them so much because they're so old that they age like wine. I think we used these in the video about how to keep your playing cards extra fresh, where Grant talked about different ways to make your playing cards last longer, and these were featured in that. Revolution deck by Murphy's Magic. They look like this. They kind of handle exactly like Nox. They kind of are exactly Nox, but they have three lines in the middle of them. I made an Instagram post about these back in the day. Blue Damon Daves. These are the Smoke and Mirrors. I believe they're called Denim Edition. Another deck that I used to love to use in tutorials because it just handles so well. Next up, Karshi Touch playing cards. I don't know if you guys remember when these came out a few years back. We used them in so many of our tutorials. Shout out to the Karshi Touch guys. They were the first like really big player in the game to send us a deck of cards. This is sealed. And I believe if I remember right, we have another one. This is the sealed one. And this is the one that's very worn down. It's the one that's been Erd Day's go round over water so many times to get those awesome shots. I was way back in the day. Grant and I always visit that road where we film that stuff. Such a cinematic place to film. Esther Star playing cards. These are the classic box for this deck. So they were the first deck, by my knowledge, that opened up like this, right? Um, I have the normal box. They just don't fit in the deck display. So I've still got a few, oh wait, that's not it. Um, still got a few sealed of the really awesome box. And this was actually the first video that ever crossed over a million views for us on YouTube. It's called like the most insane card unboxing ever, 2018. And if you open it, let's see. They have gotten better over the years, just like that. And uh, you get a million views, I guess. Shout out to that deck. I remember how awesome that was. Superfly playing cards. These are by Gemini Decks. Also made a cool cinemagraph with these, I believe, for Instagram. Uh, Winterberry playing cards. I think I made a couple posts with these on Instagram. Those are by Got Magic Shop, I believe. Casual V2 playing cards. These are by my friend Paul Robia. I use them in Carter Street ASMR 2. And that video also went over a million views. So shout out Paul for sending me the deck. Love the design. Green Monarchs. Bought this deck a while ago. Can't remember why. Oh, I do remember why. I was buying Tally Hoes in bulk and the best place for me to buy those in bulk is from Theory 11. So I had a couple bricks in each cart. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get some green monarchs. They're the only color that I don't have. You know, I have a problem. Whew. All right, next up, we have the Flora playing cards, also by my friend Paul Robia, who uh, made those casual V2s. I can't remember if I used these in any video, but uh, cool design. Shout out Paul for sending me those. Also, sorry about the dance I'm doing to get off frame and get in frame. The autofocus tracker is to my face. So in order for it to focus on the cards, I got my face out of frame. It's one of the many perils of filming alone. It'd be nice to have someone behind the camera do all the operating of the focus, but hey, it's only one of me and Grant lives 2,000 miles away, rip. 
We'll have to make Grant do a deck collection video too because he's got a ton of stuff, obviously, as well. Stoic Cards by David Blaine. I also got some really cool footage of this deck. Used it for a deck review. Used that footage in my reel because I thought it turned out really well. Very, very simple, minimalist back design. Uh, they handle just like Knox, but what's interesting about this deck is it's a stripper deck. So that means that the cards are shorter on one another. You can pull out and suck the card. Google it. I, I, I don't have time to do an explanation right now, but pretty cool deck. Um, Lost Ear. This deck is by Bacopo. Really cool looking deck. I always forget to show you guys the cards. Um, really cool looking deck. I'm going to do a fan really quick just so you can see how cool they look in a fan. But that was also a part of the Bacopo contract that I talked about earlier when they sent us a ton of decks. Made a couple Instagram posts with that. Um, haven't opened this. This is the Crown deck. I believe this is by the Blue Crown Company. Uh, it's the Breast Cancer Awareness deck. Pretty cool. The Zone 2018 deck. This was also a Bacopo deck they sent us. Um, as a really nifty box. I used them in the Revolution Cut tutorial. And uh, you can open and pull out the cards from the top like that. And you can open them from the bottom too. So uh, pretty cool design. Always love when people are innovating with stuff like that. I personally prefer the classic, but I love when people innovate like that. All right, quick interruption. I'm currently editing this video over there on my computer and I realize there is absolutely no way I'm gonna be able to go through all of these in under an hour. So I'm gonna split this video into two parts, but I'm gonna make up for it by doing a giveaway in both parts. So part two coming next week where we go over the rest of the cards. But for this week, I got a giveaway for you guys and I'll announce the winners in next week's video, okay? So you'll find out the results super, super quick. Here's what we're gonna do. Three prizes. Prize one, the Truth and Lies deck by Murphy's Magic. So a two deck prize for the Truth and Lies deck. Prize two, zone playing cards, which she just went over. And then prize three will be a breast cancer awareness crown deck, which I also just went over. So three prizes, four decks up for grabs. I'm gonna make it super easy for you guys to enter. Cause like I said, winner will be announced in next week's part two video. Since the winner's just gonna be announced next week in the part two of the deck collection video, super, super easy to enter. Just like the video, be subscribed to the channel, turn on post notifications and just leave any random comment, whatever you wanna say down below and I'll use the random comment selector to pick a winner for next week's video. All right, that's it. Three prizes, four decks, truth and lies, breast cancer awareness and zone deck up for grabs. And then next week, I'll do a whole nother giveaway for you guys, all right? I got lots of cards, so we got lots of giveaways coming up and of course, Rise Playing cards being shipped out to you guys in the coming weeks. Love you guys, peace out, see you next week.